What you guys got another video here on how to fix Windows 10 updates taking forever to install on your system. Or maybe you've got a Windows 10 update that's stuck or frozen. I'm going to show you what to do in this video. Now, sometimes you may feel that it's stuck, but in fact, your update is fixing a few things and it will eventually start to install. Now, it can take up to two or three hours to install a really large feature update. So if you've got an update like this one here and it's stuck, say, on installing at 91% or any other type of percentage that it's stuck on, then this video is for you. Sometimes you get it stuck on uh, the reboot screen where it's uh, updating and you get it stuck there. If you've got a slow old PC, you really need to give it plenty of time to install. So go to the, your search box and type in here trouble uh, shoot or trouble and you will then see the troubleshooter here. We're going to go to additional troubleshooters down here first off and take a look at the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Sometimes there may be a problem with your updater. Now, if you've got a very old, slow PC, it may take a long time to update. So be patient, guys, because people are probably stopping it during the process of updating. So you can always try this Update Troubleshooter first, which sometimes can fix and resolve a few problems. So it's going to detect a few problems on the system and then it will start to try to rectify those Windows update problems with Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 has been played with some update issues, so bear that in mind and keep an eye on the known issues on Windows 10, uh, Microsoft Windows 10 website, and you'll be able to see whether there's an issue with the updating process. You can see here it's checked for Windows update issues. It's detected a problem, and uh, we'll go ahead and try to rectify that and fix it in this video for you. So I'm going to give you a little tip what you can do here to keep an eye on whether uh, some activity is happening on your computer. I see this quite a lot where people get impatient and then they shut down their PC during the updating process and it can mess it up. So right click on the taskbar and go to task manager and open up the task manager here. Go to your uh, performance uh, tab here and you'll see some tabs in here called CPU, memory, disk and ethernet. You can check all of these to see whether there's activity happening on your computer during the updating process, especially the disk. If you see your disk is actually got some activity going on, as long as you're not using the computer at the time when you're checking here, if it's completely dead, then there's no activity. Just give it a little bit of time and keep an eye on it to make sure that it's actually working. Looking at the ethernet here, it may be downloading and sending and receiving files. So keep an eye on that. And you can see that down at the bottom here and you'll be able to see. Your CPU will also be spiking up and down and you may get memory usage as well. So keep an eye on all of those uh, areas. And this is a good telltale sign that something is still happening with your computer during the updating process. You can also check the uh, hard drive uh, indicator light on the case to see whether there's any activity on there as well. So go into the search box and type CMD and then click run as administrator to open up the command prompt box. In here, we're gonna do SFC space forward slash scan now. What this is gonna do is check your system files and make sure everything is okay and running as it should be. This is also a great way of telling whether the system has got problems. And what we'll do is let this run. It does take a bit of time, so be patient. And I'll speed this process up. And you can see here the Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So we know there was an issue with the uh, system files. So it's now fixed those corrupt files. So we're in good stead there. But if you want to go a little step further, you can do this DISM command here and uh, we'll do restore health here. So first start off typing in DISM and in space forward slash online and in space forward slash type clean up all one word here. So let's just take that dash out and put clean up and then dash and then image and in space forward slash restore health. Once you've done this, you can then push enter and this does take a bit of time, so be patient and we'll let that run and hopefully your problem will be resolved. But once that's done, you want to run SFC space forward slash scan now to make sure all of the problems are resolved and then try to run Windows Update again to see whether that fix your problem. So you can see here it's now completed and uh, we can now move on to the next step if you're having issues, uh, still having issues with your Windows Update. 
So what we'll do here is we're going to go down to the search box here. I'm going to type MS config and uh, open this up the system configuration box. And what you're going to do here is a clean boot basically to stop anything running in the background. Sometimes when you've got antivirus programs, uh, they can cause issues. So load uh, started items, take the tick out of there. And also we're going to go to services here and we're going to put in here, hide all Microsoft services and then disable all. We want to click on the disable all here. And this will be any sort of service that's running or any sort of program that's running like your uh, antivirus program or anything like that, that can interfere uh, with that. Also, we want to go into the open task manager here and disable all of these here because there may be something in here that's conflicting and causing a problem uh, with your update. So just disable everything inside here. Okay. And then try your windows update. Once you know it's working, you can go back in here and turn all this stuff back on and revert back to the way it was before the windows update. Unfortunately, you have to do these types of things to try and troubleshoot uh, the issue because you won't know what is causing the problem. And sometimes programs can be a little bit mischievous with uh, windows updates and cause issues, especially security software. So now I've done all this, what I can do is close this box and go back. So let me close the box out and we can go backwards here and it will say, do you want to apply and okay these settings? So just do that. And of course we will need to reboot the system once that is done. It will prompt us here to restart. So restart your system and then try your Windows update and hopefully uh, it will be working. If it is, once it's finished, you can go back into MS config and put your settings back to the way they were before. You can just put normal startup here up the top and you should be good to go. Next up, we're going to reset all of the Windows update components here. So download. Now, this script has been designed to take out all the hard work of running a load of commands in the command prompt, whereas this does it all for you and makes your life a lot easier. So now you've got it downloaded, open up the PowerShell with administrator and get the execution policy. You can see there's a restriction on there. and We need to take that restriction off before we run the script. You can do self dash uh, execution policy unrestricted and then push enter and say yes to all. And basically this will remove the restriction for you to be able to run that script safely. And then once the script has been run, we can then revert back and put our policy back to restricted again. It's that simple. And to do that, you would just put this in here, basically put uh, unrestricted here. So you can see I've done this now. And if you want to restrict it, you would just put the get dash execution policy space restricted and put the restriction back onto that system. I'm not going to do that just yet because we are still going to run uh, this script. So now we've got it uh, unrestricted, as you can see in the list there. So what I'm going to do is basically go ahead and uh, run this script. So I'm not going to finish off this process here. I just wanted to show you how you can revert back. I'll show you after I've run the script as well. So let's open up uh, our script here. So I'm going to close this off. And I'll show you an easy way to get to the location where your script is. Go to where your script is, where you've downloaded it, highlight it, go to file, open with PowerShell, open with PowerShell with administrator, say yes to the user account control. This will open up your um, box here where we need to type in our uh, command. So we're going to do DIR here just to see whether the script is in that folder. It is. So now we can do dot and backslash and then the actual name of the script. So do that dot backslash and then the name of the script, which is in this case, reset dash windows updates dot PS one. And then we can run this and then basically this will run the script and uh, remove any files that have been inside our software distribution folders and cat root and stuff like that. And it will also clear all that out. And when you download again, sometimes that rectifies a lot of problems and you can see it's just done what we need to do there and reset a load of DLLs back to their defaults. Now it's asking us to reboot our PC, but before we do that, let's just put our restriction back on by doing uh, set dash execution policy space restricted and say yes, and basically restrict it and then reboot our system. And hopefully when we reboot our system, you can try uh, the windows update and hopefully uh, you will be successful. If you still get frozen at a certain point just be very patient and let that run it can take quite a bit of time if you've got a very old system 
especially with four gigs of RAM or something like that and an old uh, processor, third gen processor, it can take quite a bit of time. Anyway, that's basically how to fix Windows updates taking forever to install or Windows updates that are stuck or frozen and stuck at a certain percentage. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out, guys. Remember, hit the like button, guys. It does help with the YouTube algorithm, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again. Bye. For now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.